hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be here in the vegetable garden and i'll be planting some bulbs that are designed to attract the wildlife in spring and i'll also be setting up a few things to help the birds and bees during the cold months of winter so let's take a look if you're new to my channel my name is Jermaine I'm based in Switzerland and please go ahead and subscribe like this video and drop me a comment let me know what you think this is what the vegetable garden looks like uh, in this month of November mid-November right now and today I just want to plant these bulbs right here so that uh, when come when spring comes that we have a nice display of colors and a few things that would uh, welcome the wildlife immediately. So I'm going to go ahead now and pick up all the leaves and then set up the bed and put in the, the bulbs. So let's take a closer look at the bulbs that we have here. So what you see here is Blumen, Bienen und Schmetterlinge, uh, the equivalent of flowers, bees and butterflies in English. And you can see that it's a mixture of uh, various uh, tulips and daffodils um, we have uh, I mean this is what we, we should be expecting you can take a look at the pictures right there and get an idea of what uh, we should be expecting to come up in, in spring so here are 50 bulbs in these two bags and I have another mixture here that I want to mix I think the two would look good and uh, well, we have about 75 bulbs in total and I think that should do it for the for the space that we have here so I'm going to go ahead now and uh, prepare the space to, uh, to plant the bulbs and then start setting up the various for the wildlife So I don't really have a plan. I, I'm just going to plant them randomly, try to space them out. I'll just place them randomly, try to make sure that they get deep in the ground and does it. And uh, we should have, as a result, we should look forward to seeing this in spring. And this. So let me get back to it. All right, guys, I just have these three left now. Uh, most people think that you have to plant the bulbs <laughs> like, like this. This is the top and uh, that should be the bottom. So yeah, what might happen if you plant your, your tulip? If you plant your tulip like this, is that the, it's going to take longer to come up because this is the side where the leaves are supposed to come up the leaves and the tulip would need one or two days more to turn and start growing upwards which is why it's preferable to plant it from the word go from the beginning just put it pointing up so that there is no time wasted for the for the plant to start growing and for you to start enjoying those beautiful blooms so there we have it. Again, you dig the hole deep enough and you put your tulip. Let me take this one, it's more visible. There, put it down there. And that should do it. And you cover it. So there we go. All the bulbs are in now and it's time for me to put up the birds and bees homes for the winter the birds and bee homes for the winter so I need to get going because we're losing light so this is this is a feeding house for the birds 
I'm going to hang it up here on this tree. I think it will look nice right there. And I'm going to be hanging the bees, the bees home, also just next to it, somewhere around here. All right, so let's get to it. So here in our neighborhood, and I'm sure in many parts of the world, um, during this time of the year, during the winter months, uh, you'll find these uh, kind of little houses hanging on trees or other that are built um, in different shape and sizes. And the reason why we do this is to be able to put in some kind of food um, for the for the birds, so that when the birds, and we do have many around here in our area, so that when the birds come in gardens in the months of winter, they can still find some form of seed to take with them. And that's why we do that. So I just realized that this one came with a few tulips to, to add in. So it's just a bee hotel. And uh, I was going to hang it up when I realized that it comes with a few tulips. So let's see what they look like. All right. Oh, this this makes it really interesting okay and then how many are there actually 25 and then we have a hundred awesome yes so i ended up just getting a rope uh, i didn't have time to look for that but i think this will be just fine i'll keep it so So there we have it. <laughs> one for the birds and the other one for the bees. All I need to do now is to, to fill this one with the feed uh, and then we're good to go. So I have a whole pack of bird feed here. So I have these and I have those. I need to get them in there somehow. So I'm going to use this little cup here. <laughs> I think that will work much, much better. <gasps> so. All the things that birds like to eat. So this is the picture so far. I need to add more grains to that. Okay. To probably start by eating down there on the floor. Okay guys, so as you can see it's full and uh, ready for the birds. So I hope with this will leave my veggies <laughs> alone though I don't have much left to eat for them on the veggie department but uh, this looks awesome it'll be interesting to see how long it lasts until I have to to refill this but looking great so happy that I was able to do this today thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in our next video bye bye